What's up guys? Welcome to Good Trouble Season 1 after 10 free birthday. Okay, so let's start it off with this episode. So this episode starts off with Evelyn celebrating Davia's birthday and she basically gives out trivia cards which are Davia trivia cards and I don't see what mentions about one year how they had to wear Davia masks which is kind of seems creepy now that you think about it knowing anyway yeah anyway that's creepy when Davia masks but anyway yeah so Kelly's like hey can we switch these out for other stuff for other people's stuff card pins for other people's card and she's like yeah when it's your birthday, Davia. Anyway, yeah. So, so yeah. So, so yeah. So anyway, they so so they get into a, so they get into a car. Car. Okay. So they get to the party and they get and they get into a car with who else? But Brandon and Brandon's like, hey, you're not Alex. You're not Alex K. Okay? And they're like, Brandon? With a, yeah, cause, cause, how can they, I guess they can see it's Brandon, but he's got a beard now. So, yeah, so, and Allison's like, hey, that's our car. And he, and he's like, hey, and they're like, and Allison's like, hey, that's our car. And they're like, um, you better get us out of here. <laughs> so, so he's like, so, so. So, yeah, so they get back to the place, and, and they do this, like, and Callie looks up, says that Brandon hasn't just started being a coach, coach a driver, and, and, yeah, and he basically later tells Dennis that the reason why he is a coach a driver is because his wife, Eliza, doesn't want him to do his job. Doesn't want him to have a job. Which is another point why Liza is a pretty, tor pretty terrible wife to Brandon. Because wouldn't you want her husband to have a job? Even in good trouble. They make him not like Eliza. <laughs> like, like when they want her, she, I guess she has a job. But wouldn't you want him to have a job to support their family? To support the both of them? Oh, even the smell, they make me not like Liza. Even though she is not in this episode. So, yeah, she just wants Brandon to focus on his music and. And. Yeah. Even in the smell, they make me not like Liza. Yeah. I don't like Liza because, as I said, my spot is to smell you. We know nothing about her. And now that they've kind of like said, hey, she, now that she and Brandon are married, and she doesn't want Brandon to work, that makes her a terrible wife higher, because cause wouldn't you want Brandon to work to support their family? Wouldn't you want Brandon to work to support their family? So, yeah. So, yeah. So, Davi, so, Gael and, Gael and Brian are now together. He thinks that Callie and Jamie are a couple, Brian thinks, and, so yeah, so, so anyway, they, Davi is like, hey, anyone to steal the, anyone to steal the, anyone to steal the party, anyone to steal that disco ball gets 200 points, gets more points, so anyway, let's, so Jeff, Davia doesn't think that Jeff cares that it's her birthday, so, so she's kind of sad, but the reason why he isn't there is because Dennis kind of he went up to the he went up to the coterie to Davia, and Dennis gave him a smack in the gave him a punch in the face, and and da when Davia gets that call from Jeff, obviously she is not happy, so she basically goes out and and is like, hey, Dennis, why didn't you tell me that Jeff was in town? How could you do that? And he's like. And he's like, and he's like, I did it to protect you. I hit him, and she's like, you hit him, and he's like, and he's like, you have to respect yourself. And she's like, um, res 
respect myself? Do you even know how to respect yourself, Dennis? We can talk next time. Next time you learn to respect yourself. So, yeah. So, yeah. And Roger Mariana. Roger Mariana. Mario is in this episode, Roger is in this episode, and, and, Ro and Mario and Raj, uh, to see the disco ball, Mario is like, hey, th I think those people are trying to steal that disco ball, and they just, and they just take it for themselves, and, so, yeah, so they basically go, and, so they basically go, and, and yeah, so, so, yeah, that, so anyway, yeah, so, we're just starting to avoid Jamie at all costs in this episode, like, Callie's like, hey, is that Jamie, and Brandon's like, uh, Jamie, I don't want to talk to him, <laughs> and, yeah, and then later, Callie goes, talk to Brandon, it's like, hey, talk to Eliza, tell her about your job, and she'll get it. Yeah, they really made me out like Eliza in the show, even though we know nothing about her. And all we know that, all we know about her is that she works for the LA Films, she plays cello, and she's married to Brandon. But now she won't let him work, so we have to have, so we have to have a secret job. So great. So it says that Eliza's on tour. So Brandon basically never gets to see his wife, making her again a terrible wife. I hope that we, when we get to see her again, they make her redeemable because right now she just doesn't seem like my choice for Brandon's wife. Because why is it like accept their husband's job? Like, but. Eliza telling him not to do it, telling him not to have a job and to focus on the music. It's like, wow, well, Eliza, you're a terrible wife. Cause you, cause wouldn't you allow your husband to have a job, pay for you to? You shouldn't be the only one to have a job. Tell me in the comments below if you think you agree with me that Eliza is not a great person to bring in. Cause wouldn't she want her husband to have a good wife? Yeah have a job to support the two of them. Like, she just thinks, oh, I should have a job and Brandon should focus on music. But no, that's not how it works. Both people should have a job to support their, like, Brandon and Liza are probably trying to, you know, are probably going to, like, have a family together. So should they, like, get jobs to support their family? But Liza's like, oh, no, you, you shouldn't take, you shouldn't have a job. You should focus on your music. What a terrible wife Eliza is, because if she, because if she wanted Brandon to have, if she wanted, to, if she trusts Brandon and she supports him, like, then let him have a job. You said in the fun series now that you trust Brandon, that you love him, so why won't you let him have a job? Wow, they make Eliza more awful every episode, every time they mention her. I'm just saying, my opinion, I watched this one, I said, when I watched this episode, I said, why won't Liza ha let Brandon have a job? Because Brandon should support for the two of them, both of them, not just one, two, but Liza's just like, hey, you should only have a, a job, it's just like, <sighs> anyway, back to Mario. Back to Mariana and Raj. Mariana and Raj take a picture of themselves saying, Hey, Mirage has, or Mirageana had a very good time and are partying it up. Yeah. On it. She did. So, anyway, that kind of, that kind of wraps up this episode of the Good Trouble. They made Eliza really more the worst wife because I really enjoyed Brain's cameo. It was a very great cameo for David Lambert to come back. We've seen more Foster's characters come back. Next episode, we're probably going... Next episode is going to be really interesting. We're going to... We're going to have... Yeah. Okay, so we've had June. 
Stephanie, Nina, Jesus, and Brandon. So, we have four of the characters come back. Counting from my honor series regular, so you can't count them. But we've only had four characters out of, of this. But anyway, that kind of wraps up this episode. Brandon was great. They kind of made me still not like Eliza any more than I already did. And, because they kind of made her a terrible wife that, why would you want her husband to have a job? And, and Davia's birthday was pretty good. Her mom didn't show up, which is kind of like, wow, Davia's mom. And, we got, yeah, but, and Sumi was totally flirting with Alice the entire episode. It's just like, yeah, I forgot to mention, Sumi and Alice were flirting the entire time of this episode. It, it's kind of like Sumi, make up your mind. Do you want me, do you want to marry Mira, or do you want to be with Alice? You can't flirt, you can't want to marry Mira, but then flirt with Alice while she's not in the episode. Make up your mind, Sumi. Which woman do you want? It, it, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't get Sumi. She loves Mira, but she's flirting with Alice. And anyway, that wraps up the episode of. Good Trouble. I really enjoyed this episode, so I'll see you next time for another Good Trouble.